If you have a car with good gas mileage, it can be pretty awesome. There's the obvious cost savings, and you can waste less time at gas stations. But with an efficient four-cylinder, it can be hard not to feel stuck with all the things most people dislike about cars. I am nobody's master, got it? I don't want you here, and I don't want you here. Uh -huh. I'm stuck with you. Well, to help with some of that boringness, here are nine of the fastest 0 to 60 American four-cylinder cars on the road. Let's get into it. For anyone interested in getting an extra two or four cylinders, I've got videos out there for that, so check those out next. Prices for these are from cars I found in my area with no more than like 80,000 miles, and a lot of them had a lot less than that. Also, let me know if I forgot any cars here, but without further ado, number nine is the Dodge Caliber SRT4 with a zero to 60 time of 5.9 seconds from car and driver. These come with six speed manual transmissions that drive the front wheels with 285 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. Honestly, the interiors kind of suck, but that's not too surprising based on Dodge's car interior record between like 2000 and 2010. And if you told me you didn't like the exterior either, specifically the back, I probably wouldn't blame you. But for what this car is, I actually think the fronts look pretty cool and they seem like a lot of fun. The ones of these I did see for sale at dealerships and for private sales were around 10 to 15 grand, but sadly, these are as hard to find for sale as a short throw dipstick at AutoZone. Uh. <laughs> Next up is a way more common one, which is the 2-liter Cadillac ATS. Starting in 2016, these were offered with faster turbo inline fours, making 272 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Before that, the only four cylinders offered in these were naturally aspirated 2.5-liter engines. And all that comes together with a pretty good weight of around 3,500 pounds to get this from 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. And from these lists, you can't deny Cadillacs really aren't only made for 85-year-olds with a Coca-Cola in their hand who will never go more than quarter throttle at any time anymore. Coming in as the third car on the list, we've got the 03 to 05 Dodge Neon SRT4s with a 0 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds as tested by car and driver. These have 2.4 liter turbocharged inline fours making 215 horses in 03 and a whopping 230 in 04 and 05. Now that may sound like nothing, but these also barely weigh anything at around 2,900 pounds. The range of prices on these seems pretty wide, with the ones I saw being between 11 and 23 grand. Even though this and the Caliber have engines that are the same displacement, the engines are actually completely different in a lot of ways, which results in the power difference. Also, apparently a lot of people believe both power ratings were underestimated by Dodge, and these power numbers actually matched the dyno numbers people were getting, so the brake horsepower was a little higher. When they were new, at least. They'd spend some time. Next is one not too many people would probably picture here, and it's the 2018 and newer Turbo 2-liter Buick Regal Sportback. I've mentioned the higher trim V6 Sportbacks in other videos, but turns out the 4-cylinder ones are actually pretty quick compared to their 4-banger competitors too, also with a tested 0-60 to time of 5.6 seconds. Like a couple of recent comments I've seen, one or two people might be like, Ew, that can't be here with other fast 4-cylinder cars because I don't like how it looks me. But in reality, these don't look terrible, especially if you want a more casual daily and some storage. They keep up with the other cars here pretty well, and it seems like you can easily find one for between 20 and 25 grand depending on the specific package. For the fifth car here, we've got the four-cylinder Camaros made between 2016 and the end of this year since it's been reported no inline fours will be offered for 2024, which is the Camaro's final year. These make 275 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque from a turbo 2-liter engine. With that, and their pretty low weight means they can also hit 60 in 5.6 seconds. They generally cost between 18 and 27,000 from what I saw, which is around what I expected, but they're definitely not as common as I thought. And sounds like they're going to be a lot less common pretty soon. <laughs> And the Camaro's biggest competitor here is the 18 and newer EcoBoost Mustangs with a slightly faster 5.3 second time from Motor Trend. 
This was the only time I could find and it's for a normal EcoBoost, but they also offer the high performance package or HPP as the kids are calling it these days, which came with some little things here and a whole 20 more ponies under the hood. And the 15 to 17s weren't too slow either, but these ones got a decent acceleration boost with that 10 speed auto transmission, even if they're not the most reliable like people seem to say. And third to last is actually a pretty random one, the Saturn Sky Redline. And I gotta start out by saying sorry to the guy who blames me for raising sky prices after my last video, cause they could be up a bit more after this one. <laughs> These red lines got turbos added to them, so they make 260 horsepower and torque and can hit 60 in 5.2 seconds as tested by car and driver. Honestly, I'm surprised too, but it's not as wild to think about that when you realize they only weigh just under 3,000 pounds. The Solstice GXP actually has a 5.6 second time too, but because these are so similar, I thought I'd leave it just as an extra mention. Second to last is the all-wheel drive Cadillac CT4V. And this goes back to when I said Cadillacs aren't just for old people unless they're terminal adrenaline junkies, cause these hit 60 in just four and a half seconds according to Car and Driver and 5.1 from Motor Trend. And to do that, they've got what's called a dual volute turbocharger. So it's got two twisty boy channels in the turb ski for spooling it up to 11. And for the final and quickest American four cylinder car here, it's the Ford Focus RS with a zero to 60 time of just four and a half seconds. This probably isn't much of a surprise to a lot of people, but for anyone who thought it might be some crazy supercar or something at the end here, it's not. It's just a pretty cool hatchback. That costs between 32 and 40 grand, but with that price, you get all that acceleration, something you could potentially drive in the winter, a little trunk space, and an apparently acceptable drift mode for a touch of squirreliness. Let me know if I missed any good cars here, if you've had any of these, or if you've got any video requests. As always, thank you guys all very much for watching. I appreciate every one of you and all the support. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.